Hey, this is John. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Mechanical Mastery. In the last episode, we set up these redstone furnaces and detectors to keep a certain amount of ingots in our system at all times. And between episodes, I went ahead and finished out the system by taking all of the other items that were producing stuff for our system and placing them over here. So now everything goes right into our refined storage system. There is one problem with that though. Uh, now we're no longer producing ingots for the EMC generation. So that has completely stopped. There are a few more regular mechanical essences to compress, but we're about to be out of those as well. So we need to get this working again with exports from the system. So let's go ahead and get an interface. So let's see, interface. And we're going to put him somewhere like, I don't know, right in the middle. Put him down there. And then let's break into the pipe over here. Uh, let's see, yeah, you would go right there. So do I have any cable on me? No, but I probably have some over here. Are you hooked up? Yeah, you are hooked, hooked up. Uh, we need to go a little bit farther, actually, I think. Yeah, it needs to come off of here. That way we can hide things. Okay, so... There we go. Now he is hooked up into our system. So we were basically, with these five machines, getting the five types of ingots. So I can simply export that from the system. We had iron, we had copper, we had aluminum, we had nickel, and we had tin. Here we go. All right, so let's just keep, I don't know, eight of each of these in the system, or in this exporter. And then all we should have to do is have this guy, what is what channel are you? You are an insert on one. So if you were an extract on one, and we're gonna need to do um, some overclockers there. So I want the downside to be an insert, or sorry, an extract on channel one. Yeah, this looks correct to me. I want to be round robin, and we need to get some overclockers for that. So let's go down and put that in there, and then we'll get some overclocker cards. One, two, three, four of those. Now let's go to the down node. There we go. Now everything should have ingots again. Let's go ahead and put the four back. Uh, one more four piece, please. So now I think everything in the system should be working again. And because we are using iron, we are now cooking up iron again. And he'll stop whenever he has enough. So whenever it detects that there's enough, he'll stop making iron. There we go, there's copper, there's tin, and there's aluminum being cooked up. So yeah, they're now over there, but they go into the system, and then they go uh, back out. It would be good if we kept um, some of these um, mechanical essences in here as well. So what channel are you? You are an extract on three. So I wonder if instead of being an extract on three, we could have you uh, extract and go into the system and then make a channel that, um, that exported that again. So we could have another exporting card on the downside on channel three and we could export um, essence from here as well. So we could tell it to only run when you have a high signal. 
and let's take all of these and how many of these are in my system right now let's go ahead and run you one time oh you're going out now didn't mean to do that um, I want to extract into the system so what card are you you are an insert on six I would like you to be an extract on six so we'll go ahead and run you okay and then you should have gone in my system so yeah so I'd like to say that we will run this guy if we have fewer than 256 of these essences so let's get a detector that took longer than I expected and we'll get one of these essences and we'll break into the four here and he is not hooked up to the system so we need to fix that so where is the system here it is so let's just make the cable go down there okay you can see that he is now telling this guy to build stuff all right Where's my cobblestone? So that is good for this. We need to have an export of eight of these in here. And then we need an extract card, but not there. An extract card on channel three. Okay. So that should let the yeah, that should let the basic essence extract from there as well. And it's the same as it was doing before. So I think that should be okay now. We should be making more of this. So uh here's over here. So yeah, yeah, he now has two mechanical essence and now he has two again. Okay, so we're doing fine on that again. Okay. So that should be everything we need to make the system work and keep our ingots in stock. I want to keep um, these regular mechanical essences in stock as well. So we can get another detector and send this over as well. So what I think is we will tell it not to insert all of these but actually we'll just insert two of them and we'll only run this multi servo press if we have more than 64 of these in the system so let's try doing that as well so the first step is to tell the other guy the extractor downstairs that I don't want him to extract into that guy he was an extract on channel four but now I want him to be an extract on channel six I think okay right now he won't extract let me double check that channel but I think it should be that channel this will go into the system right yeah you're an insert on six okay insert on three extract on six okay yeah you are now going into the system and what we're going to say is um, he will now go down and he will not get any more of these in here so let's put these essences in here and we could export this from here or from here either one would be okay uh, let's, I'm going to export it from here and we will just get two for now and this can be the export on three so instead of inserting on three he will now insert on or sorry instead of inserting on four he'll insert on three but now I need a counting filter so let's get one of those There we go. And I want him to take only 
two of those essences. So one, two, and he's on channel three. Okay, so the last step is to tell him when to run. He only runs on a high redstone signal. So let's go ahead and break this. We'll break this guy. He has, oh, he's got a basic EMC link over here. Okay, uh, we don't need to do that anymore. Uh, we can have him have an extract on six and just dump him into the system. So you can be an extract on six. Okay. Uh, let's turn you off. I want to see if you go in the system when you're done. So I should be seeing very soon. Yeah, 20,000 plus. Okay, it went in the system and that put him in the transmutation interface to uh, get us EMC. Okay, so now I can put the detector down here. So we'll craft up one more of those. And then you are only going to run if you have more uh, more than 256, which at the moment you will not. So let's find out where the cable is. All right, we'll cut right over here and down under that. Okay, so if you had less than that, you would now be on. And now we're going to shut you off. So until we have four stacks of this in the system, we're not going to run the multi-servo press anymore. And we'll keep those in our system for crafting. All right, that sounds like what I want. Okay, and we need to put him on the high signal again or he'll continue to run. Okay, so for just a little bit, we're not going to be gaining any EMC. We're not going to gain any until we have plenty of this in the system. And you can see now he does stop. So how many do we have in the system right now? We've got 152. Let's tell it uh, if you had 154, you could go on again. Okay, and now you do have uh, less than that because you exported one. And so now he's going to run again. Because, yeah, he's got 152, 55 now. Oh, his power, now his power's still on. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, he may actually keep up with that, does he? He actually, you know, he's faster. Uh, we can fix that, so if we speed him up, he will crush these faster, and eventually he will have to stop. All right, and you can see that he does stop when he has more than this in the system. I'm going to keep that at 256. So eventually um, we'll go down in EMC for a little bit, but it should be okay because we should get plenty of those um, shortly. So the pyrolyzer is good. Um, yeah, we've actually gone through almost all of the coal coke. So. Yeah, this guy is faster than that guy. This guy's doing fine. Um, we won't get any more sulfur while he's got all this coal in there, but I don't know how much this sulfur we need. I can take the coal out if I want to try and get us more sulfur, but it's not really a big deal to do that. Okay. Um, yeah. I think that is working out well right now. So there's a couple of things we'll have to watch out for. One, um, we're using a lot of power in the refined storage system, 400 RF per tick, and that's just 
passively. That is almost two of our five generators dedicated solely to keeping the refined storage system running. Now that we've tied everything into refined storage, our system is a little bit fragile. So, you know, if we uh, overextend ourselves either on power or on EMC, the whole thing could collapse and it might end up being hard to uh, get it back running again, you know? So it would be good to have a way to turn the machines on and off if we need to stop them to reduce the power usage. It would be good to have a way to have a backup power buffer in the event that we just run out of power. I mean, we're not in danger right now, but you know, if, if we don't notice that we're going down, um, this could get very bad very quickly. You can see that his buffer empties and fills back up, so right now we're doing fine, but we may not be shortly. So there's a couple of options that we could do. We could get um, another one of these elite energy cubes and fill him up. We are making more power than we need. And we could just stuff one of those into our chest as a backup source, similar to how we do with EMC. So that's probably the best solution to um, safe power storage. So we may look into doing that. Um, let's see if we can make some more auto crafting to build that guy. So originally, we used this machine right here, and we dumped redstone into him, and we made some control circuits or something, and then we had to get diamond dust. So we're going to need to do a bit of automation with um, pulverizers and the mechanical, uh, the metallurgic infusers to do stuff like that. So it might help us to make a couple of metallurgic infusers which aren't part of these manual row of machines. We're going to need some more machines to do some automation work with, but I kind of like the idea of keeping this row up top as just manual stuff to do whatever. You can see we've got the last of the coal coke from the um, coal oven over there, and we're doing great on that. So. Uh, I could tear him down. I could put more cold coke in him. Uh, you know, I don't really think we need this guy right now, so I think I'm inclined to let it go. Although, uh, we did just dump a bunch of coal into our system, so realistically, it might not hurt to uh, just dump these blocks in here and get cold coke passively. That would help us kickstart our steel production should we need to for whatever reason. Because our induction smelter that making steel, you know, does is faster than um, the pyrolyzer. So Alright, let's look into getting one of those elite energy cubes. So to get one of those, we need this reinforced alloy. We need these energy tablets. We need an advanced energy cube which requires infused alloy, uh, still energy tablets, um, osmium, which we have, and a basic cube. Basic cube requires steel casing and some iron. So let's see what of that we can actually build. Um, oh, I made one of these. think I could get like 10 of these, but we can't. They don't stack, so I can't request 10 of them. I forgot about that. That's where the requesters come in. But I don't want 256 of them either. So I should get another um, elite requester and keep, you know, stacks of 10 or, you know, half a stack or something. Um, that might be a good idea for that. In fact, elite requesters could replace a lot of our interfaces. We could use those and tell it to keep stacks of things in there. And uh, a lot of these things, I do want stacks. I just haven't been making stacks. So some of these, you know, I definitely want just one of these guys. But all of these, I do want a stack. So 
making another await requester to the stack would be a good idea. So we'll probably do that in a little bit. But I'm getting distracted, so let's work on the this guy. You know how to make steel casing? You do. Could you make this guy? You don't know how to make energy tablets. So let's teach you how to make those guys. So here is the pattern for that guy. Can you make infused alloy? I'm going to say that you can't because that requires a machine. So let's teach it how to do just that crafting thing. I want a metallurgic infuser. So let's go ahead and make one of those. This guy. There we go. So we're going to have this guy be our redstone infuser guy. So we're going to go somewhere over here, um, probably, I don't know, right here maybe. Yeah, he's got an energy card right there. So we'll get us a crafter. And then we need to export stuff into him. We need to export redstone because redstone will allow him um, to craft with redstone. So our plan will be to export things from that channel, which this channel is an extract on one, and then we'll insert in this machine on the bottom face. So on your side config, let's clear you out, you are an input of yellow on the bottom. That's for the redstone. Everything else is going to be an input output on the back. So that looks good to me. So we need some, we need a few more item cards. I have one. That should be enough actually. So I want you to insert on channel one on the down channel and let's get a counting filter there we go get you one of those I thought you had to make basic filters you do how come this craft doesn't work that's very odd all right I'll have to figure that out too you're still missing that what's up with that um I thought I fixed your craft. Okay. All right. So filter a counting filter is this guy with a basic filter and an observer. Okay, I put you back in here. I say I want 10. It says we could make 10. If I take this out, can I make one? Yes, I can make one. All right, that's weird. Whatever, there we go. Counting filter. Running a bit high on time, but I want to finish this one machine real quick before we go. So, okay, I want you to be a counting filter of redstone. I want you to have no more than eight in you at one time. And you'll be channel one. So yeah, he now gets eight in there and he'll just fill up and then he'll stop with having uh, eight, I thought. Did we dump all the redstone? Is he out of redstone? We're out of redstone. Hang on. <laughs> so many steps in here. Uh, let's get some redstone real quick and crush that up my next automation will be automating the redstone production I think I guess we'll see okay now he has eight he keeps in there and then the other input is from the bottom and that is our crafter and that will teach us how to make um, those metallurgic 
guys. So I made the crafter. Okay, gotta rotate him. Let's get the wrench. All right, and you will be the guy who makes my infused alloy. So let's get that recipe for you is iron equals infused alloy and go to my crafter manager and you are the infuser and then I can put this guy uh, right over here and can I make some of these energy guys um, actually let's make the infused alloy and let's say I want to keep a stack of that in the system at all time. So you are now going to craft things and why is it unhappy? Machine doesn't accept item. That uh, doesn't make sense. Um, it's because we are extracting from the back. That was a mistake. Um, your input is on the bottom and on the back you are going to be the output and then I guess on the top you'll be extra yellow. So let's go ahead and tell this guy to be on the top. There we go. There's more redstone. He's getting the iron. All we need now is an extract channel. This is going to be on channel 6 and I hope that went somewhere useful. Scheduled 19. It's processing 19. Yeah, he's just slow. So all we got to do is kick this real quick. He'll finish these up export them and that should be good all right that's the first step towards getting my energy cube wow i think we're way over time for this episode hope you enjoyed it like subscribe comment see you next time